1. The 4-Hour Work Week by Timothy Ferris Introduction Welcome to this special podcast episode on The 4-Hour Work Week by Timothy Ferris. Ferris's book is all about creating a life of freedom, where you have more time to do the things that you love and less time working. It's about working smarter, not harder. In this podcast, we're going to discuss the top 10 lessons we've learned from Ferris's book. These lessons cover a wide range of topics, from productivity to entrepreneurship and everything in between. So let's dive into the first lesson. Lesson 1. Define your goals and priorities. The first lesson we've learned from The 4-Hour Work Week is to define your goals and priorities. Ferris suggests that in order to achieve a life of freedom, you need to know what you're working towards. He suggests setting both short-term and long-term goals. Once you've set your goals, prioritize them. Decide which goals are most important to you and focus on those first. This will help you stay organized and focused. Lesson 2. Work smarter, not harder. Ferris believes that working harder is not the answer to achieving success. Instead, he advocates working smarter. This means utilizing tools and techniques that allow you to be more efficient with your time. For example, Ferris recommends outsourcing tasks that aren't your strengths. By doing so, you'll be able to focus on what you're good at and spend less time on things that you struggle with. Lesson 3. Eliminate Time Wasters one of the biggest obstacles to achieving a four-hour workweek is the presence of time wasters. Ferris suggests eliminating these time wasters in order to free up more time for the things that matter. He suggests things like batching tasks, avoiding meetings, and being more diligent with email management. By doing these things, you'll be able to maximize your productivity and minimize time wasters. Lesson 4. Use the Pareto Principle the Pareto Principle, also known as the 80 20 rule, states that 80% of your results come from 20% of your efforts. Ferris recommends using this principle to be more efficient with your time. Identify the 20% of tasks that are the most important and focus on those. By doing so, you'll be able to achieve more with less effort. Lesson 5. Build a business that can run without you. If you're looking to achieve a four-hour work week, you'll need to build a business that can run without you. This means delegating tasks and building systems that allow your business to function without your constant presence. Ferris suggests hiring virtual assistants and creating standard operating procedures, SOPs, to make this possible. By doing so, you'll be able to free up more of your time while still running a successful business. Lesson 6. Learn to say no. The ability to say no is crucial to achieving a four-hour work week. Ferris suggests that you need to learn to say no to things that aren't important or don't align with your goals. By saying no to these things, you'll be able to free up more time for the things that truly matter. Lesson 7. Develop Passive Income Streams Passive income streams are a key component to achieving financial freedom. Ferris suggests building streams of passive income through things like affiliate marketing, selling digital products, and investing in real estate. By developing these passive income streams, you'll be able to create a life where you can work less and enjoy more. Lesson 8. Embrace Minimalism Minimalism is a mindset that focuses on owning less in order to live more. Ferris believes that by embracing minimalism, you can free up more of your time and reduce your expenses. This means decluttering your life, simplifying your possessions, and living a more intentional life. By doing so, you'll be able to enjoy more with less. Lesson 9. Prioritize Self-Care Self-care is crucial to achieving a four-hour work week. Ferris suggests that you need to prioritize sleep, exercise, and healthy eating. By taking care of yourself, you'll be more energized and productive, allowing you to achieve more with less effort. Lesson 10. Take Action 
The final lesson we've learned from the four-hour work week is to take action. Ferris suggests that you can't achieve a life of freedom by simply reading about it. You need to take action, implement the strategies and techniques that work for you, and continually iterate and improve your approach. By taking action, you'll be able to achieve the life of freedom that you've always dreamed of. Conclusion And that's it for this special podcast episode on The 4-Hour Work Week by Timothy Ferris. We hope that you've learned something valuable and that you can apply these lessons to your own life. Remember, achieving a four-hour work week isn't easy, but it's possible. By defining your goals and priorities, working smarter, not harder, and eliminating time wasters, you'll be well on your way. So, what are you waiting for? Start taking action today and achieve the life of freedom that you've always dreamed of.